Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this video I'm going to show you how you can leverage the power of Elementor's templates to create the basics of a website and then how you can easily go in and tweak and fine tune to make sure you get exactly what you want just using these templates as the basis. So let's take a look at how templates work at Elementor and how we can easily go in and fine tune and tweak them. So if you're creating a website for yourself or for a client, sometimes it's really good to get down and create something that's just a very basic layout that gives you an idea that you know exactly what everything's going to look like, how it's going to work, and then you can flesh that out quickly and easily. It's a great way of prototyping a design. So for that example, we're going to be taking a look at some of the template options that ship with Elementor. Now recently they've updated their template library and there's now up to around 100 free templates. So you've got tons of choice to work with to get a really good starting point. So let's take a look at how we can add templates, how we can work with them, and then how we can go in and fine tune and tweak them to make sure we end up with the result that we want just using these as the basis. So I've got a page created with Elementor, and as you can see, nothing is open at the moment. We've got the normal layout. So really now start adding in some content. So we could, if we wanted to, go through the add sections and start building this up, but that could be time consuming. So let's go to the add template option and let's take a look at what's available. Now you can see we've got pre-designed templates and we also have the option to create our own templates. So if you start to build up a nice library of your own design elements that you like, then you can use your own templates to quickly prototype that design. But for this example, we're going to use some of the predefined templates. Now if you find that you don't see all these new templates, then you're going to need to go into the settings of Elementor and need to refresh. There's an option in there that allows you to quickly just click the refresh button, it'll go back, it'll check to see any new content on the servers and it'll download that new information for you. I've already done that, so I've got all the latest and greatest templates available to me. So you can see we have a ton of options available to you. Now some of these are included in the free uh, version of Elemental and some of them are included in Pro only. So you can see if you look at the top right hand corner you've got a little purple button that says Pro if it's only available in the Pro version. So if you've got Pro installed you have all these templates. Now, if you don't have the pro version of Elementor but you're considering upgrading, please consider using the links in the description below. It's an affiliate link and it means we get a small percentage back to help support the channel for every sale that goes through those links. Anyway, let's take a look. So we've got a ton of different presets available in our, our library. So we can easily go in and find something we think we kind of like the look of that layout. Like I say, nothing is written in stone. These are just starting points. So you can see we've got loads and loads of great looking pages. You've got home pages, we've got landing pages, we've got one page layouts. So let's just take the one page layout as a great example. So let's find one we like. So let's just say we kind of like the, let's say I like the, the sort of text fest or text fest one. So we'll choose that as an option. So you can see we can click to preview it and see what it looks like. So we can get a good idea, do we like this kind of layout? So we can scroll through, take a look. Yeah, I kind of like that. I might not like the colors, but I can easily change that. So let's just say we're gonna go with that one and we'll click insert. That will now download those files to our local system. And once we've done that, it'll insert that entire layout for us and we can start editing and creating our own personal layout based upon this particular preset template. So you can see it's a good looking template to start off with and we have the ability to go in and change every aspect of this. Now you can see if we take a look at the bottom, we've got the option where it's pulling in some blog posts that we've got. So this is gonna be specific to your particular site. If you have no blog post in there, then you won't see this. But again, it's great to see that they're using live dynamic data so we can easily pe preview this, taking in real live data that's part of our website. So you can see it's all laid out, looks really good. We can now go in and start tweaking that. Now let's take a look at some of the things we can do with this. So let's work our way through this from top to bottom, making some changes so we can customize it. So the first thing I wanna do, I don't want the header to be this particular picture. I wanna change that so I can easily come in, choose the element that I want, which is gonna be this main section at the top. I can come into that, I can click, and now I can start editing that. So you can see I can change any of the settings in there if I want, but all we want to do for this example is jump over to the style tab and change the picture. So we'll delete that picture and we'll add our own. So let's just find something we like. Now, as you can see, all those images that are being used in this particular template have already been downloaded to our local installation of WordPress. So all those are available to us, but we can easily come in and upload our own pictures or choose something from what we've already created and uploaded ourselves. So let's just choose this one and we'll say I'm happy with that. So we'll say insert media and you can see now it immediately picks up the photograph that we've now used. 
Same goes with the text. If you want to change that, we can easily come into this, click, and we don't want text first 2018. So let's just call let's just call this something different. So let's just call this desk fest 17. Again, you can see we can change any of these elements. They're all selectable, so we can easily come in, click, and just change anything on there. So we've got RSVP. We can just say more, for example. Actually, let's go for info. So you can see it updates in real time, so we can see exactly what's going on. This one isn't going to be in New York. This one's going to be in London. So let's just change that. So you can see we can easily change anything we want inside the layout very quickly and easily. So we say, okay, we're happy with that. Now we can move on to the next section. We can obviously, if we want to, change all the different options that are part of each different building block that make up this particular uh, template. So if we wanted to change the padding and the margins and so on, we can easily do that. We can select the element, come into example, the uh, advanced tab, and we can say we want to sort of bring those down a little bit. So we want to put those down to 20. And you can see we can link those together if we want to. Like a 20 as opposed to 200 and you can see we can now fine-tune that and adjust it same goes with the margins the padding anything we want on there if we wanted to we could create an entrance animation for this so we could say well we have that to fade in and now when our page loads we get some animation in there so we get a little bit of sort of movement in the page so let's just jump down to the next section you can see we now have this particular layout section so we've got a two column layout we've got a header and we've got some nice text information in there now i don't like the font in this so let's just easily go in and change that and change the colors as well so we can easily come in click and we'll just change the text so let's come into typography I don't want this display. I want to use something else. So let's just go for Nanito. Let's try the Sans version of that. Let's just make that a little bit thinner. And let's just change the color from that green kind of color. And we'll just darken that down a little bit. So we end up with something a little bit more. There we go. Kind of like that. That's look pretty good. So you can see I can easily change that. If I want to change any element on you, I can do that. No problem at all. So we can sample that color so we just copy that from there and now we'll jump down to the next section and let's just color code this now so it all starts to tie into each other so we've got these countdown timer so let's just come into that and we can change the information on there so again we can go through the style we can adjust things on there if we want to we can go to advanced we can change anything we want on there so let's come down to content let's change the color of that to the blue that we're using there we go. So we now change that. And the same goes for this section. So we can come to the new and I want to change this green background. So we can come in, change it. You see, very quick, very easy. And we're just making all these different changes. Now I don't like the font on there. I want to change that to be white so it stands out a bit better. Again, just come in, style, change it to white. And again, we'll change the font on there as well. Because I don't really like that particular font. So we'll just go for Nanito. Sans, and we'll set that to be 500 there we go so you can see it's very quick and easy to be able to come in and use this as the basis and then we can change everything up now let's just say i don't like this section at all and i want to take that out well that's easy all we need to do is come up to the section itself click the x we get a little notice just say are you sure you want to remove this we'll hit yes we want to get rid of that so we'll delete that and you can see we've now got rid of it we can reorder these if we want to very quickly and easily. So we can just drag those up and just position them wherever we want. So if we don't want that there, we want to sort of put it above the countdown timer, then we can do that. So let's just drag this one down. As you can see now, with the update to the interface that Elementor brought out recently, it now makes it considerably easier to see exactly where you're going to drop the elements. We get a nice animation and a nice thick blue line that tells us that's where it's going to land up once we let go, which I think is great. It really does make the whole process easy. If I don't like that, well, I can just easily come in and I can say, well, let's put that back to where I actually had it originally. And there we go. So we can come in and change all these different things. Again, if I want to just come in and change this color, I can come in to style, change the color on there, and just bang. There we go. We've now updated that. Same goes for the links at the bottom. If I want to change that, I can easily do that. So all we need to do is just jump over to style. I come down to content. Scroll down and you can see we've got the option for read more in there. So we can just change that now. So we've got that consistent blue color. And there we go. We just changed that very easily. 
So all these things are quick and easy to change. If we want to add more in there, we can do that. We can easily come down and just say add a new section so we can start building up additional elements. Again, like I say, if we had elements that we created as part of our own template, then we can easily just drag that in, drop it in there, and we've got these new elements added into the design and where we can sort of style them and tweak them to make sure that they sit in with everything we've got on there. So finally, let's just change this picture. I don't really like that image on there. So let's just click. We'll go to style, change the image, and we'll have something a bit more color in it. So let's go for these mountains, insert that, and there you go. And finally, we'll just come into this and we'll change the background of that register button. So we've got that blue color consistent throughout the entire site. And finally, we just change the text to be white. So hopefully what you can see is it's very quick and easy to do all of these changes. And if we want to go in and adjust them even further on a sort of more granular level, if we want to adjust things like the letter spacing based upon the device that we're using, we can do that just by using anything that has the option that shows the little desktop. You can click on there and then you've got the option to style that specific element based upon what device is being used on, whether it's a desktop, tablet or a phone. So again, really quick and easy to make those adjustments. And once we hit save, We'll let that save that out and we can just jump back to over to our test page, refresh that. And you can see we've got the animation in there. We've got our page layout all set up. All the changes we made are already in there. The color changes, the image changes, all in place. And you can see that literally took a couple of minutes to do. So it means that you could quickly and easily prototype out a design just by using one of these templates and then adjusting and tweaking really quick and easy. Great if you want to do something like a landing page because you have the ability to create these layouts without a header and footer if you're using the Elementor Canvas template, which is free as part of Elementor. And to do that, all you need to do is if I jump back over to my admin and we're just going to go back out and take a look at the page inside WordPress itself. And you can see if we look on the right hand side, we've got page attributes. All you need to do is just choose the template and choose element or canvas from there. So that's a great starting point if you just want to use the page with no elements on there. It's completely blank canvas. So you have 100% control over every element on the page with none of the WordPress elements being in there. Like I say, great if you want to do landing pages or you want complete control. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. I want to show you just how easy it is to create pages and sites and layouts just by using those templates and then adjusting and tweaking and configuring everything the way you want it to be. Very quick, very easy. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.